Well, I don't necessarily think it's a bad book, but I just think it's kind of weird how Gregor just accepts that they treat him like a bug. I mean, he's still a person. Well, yeah, but that's Kafka's whole point. That the only thing that matters is what we look like? No, it's like the whole theme of the metamorphosis is how others' perception shapes how we see ourselves. People saw Gregor as this big, ugly bug, so he started to believe it. It's like their beliefs change his actual identity. I mean, hey, guys. Hey, how was softball practice? Oh, I'm quitting. I'm out. Never going back. Right, so you're going to start studying five hours a night so you can ace your ACT and get into Princeton? No, no, no. Last time she was going to drop out, she decided to stop shaving and then travel the world playing guitar. <laughs> That's business for tomorrow. Ladies, it's a beautiful, warm summer day. So, ice cream? We gotta pay Mr. Ben and Jerry a visit. It's been too long. I'm in. I, I can't. I have to go home. It's puja day today, so... Oh, well, have fun. Or have a good religious experience. Thanks, I'll try. Sandy, when are we coming over? You promised you'd invite us for some home-cooked Indian food, and that rain shack has seen many dry days. Soon. I'll invite you soon. It's just, you don't want to come today, unless you're prepared to be bombarded with the same questions over and over again. What do you plan to study in college? What are your plans over the summer? You look so thin. Have you eaten properly? Like, it's fine, but I'd take the pass if I could. Think of it like this. They just want to try and get to know you better so that... That's not it. So that they can compare you to their own kids and muster up some petty sense of pride from it. Okay, yeah, pretty much. Give me a chance. I think I can handle some uncles and aunties. Okay, if you say so. Oh, and we really have to go to the beach this summer. This year was a total drain on me and this is the only thing that's gonna help. All right, no worries. We'll definitely go to the beach, but for now, let's get some ice cream. I'll come next time, you guys, I promise. <laughs>
Make sure all the lamps are filled with oil, please. <clears throat> hey, Mom. Notice that Art the Auntie's here again. I don't want your commentary on the guests right now, Chetna. Can you please put that in the dining room for me? Sure, but you don't mind hearing Art the Auntie's commentary about my life choices, right? Sandhya, come here. Go put this in the dining room for me, please. Ido, what am I? This year I've put veggies in my garden. Why? Of course I can. You're going to line up for my veggies. Honey, full garden. Of course I can. You're going to see. Anyway, how are things with you? I'm good. So how's school? Um, do you know what you plan to study in college? Uh, no, not yet. I'm kind of interested in medicine, but I don't think I want to stay in school for so many years. Well, that makes sense. My son didn't know what he wanted to do until his 12th, 12th standard. I told him, Kesho, you need to decide what you wanted to study. He chose engineering at MIT. Do you have any plans for this summer, Sandhya? Um, I'm just applying to some shadowing opportunities and then just studying for the SATs and hanging out with friends. Oh, I'm actually going to hang out with some friends at the beach soon. Um, you should limit your time in the sun, Ma, and wear long sleeves. You're so light and pretty right now, you don't want to get too tan. Yes, that's true. Uh, and then you might get dark and ugly and we won't be able to find a nice boy for you. No, Ma. Go to the beach, have a good time. You know, if you become dark, we can fix it. There are some skin lightening creams. Aarti, what do you use cream? Uh, fair and lovely? Yeah, fair and lovely. I don't, no, I don't think I, I need that. Not now you don't, ma, but you might later. Uh, of course, you can always avoid all that by not going to the beach. Kalpana. So how was uh, Kesha's first year at MIT? Was it too difficult for him? It was difficult. His final exams were very difficult. Apparently, we would stay up until 3 a.m. and studying all for them. He did well. Did you really agree with Arthi auntie and them when they were telling Sandhya not to go to the beach because she'd get dark and ugly? Why are you always exaggerating everything? That's not what they said. Really? Because that's what Sandhya told me. And frankly, I wouldn't be surprised. Do you really think that she'd be undesirable just because she might get dark skin? First of all, that's not what they said. And second, no, I do not agree with that. You, you just have to be polite with your guests. Right. Even if what they say is toxic and wrong? See, this is why I don't... I don't understand why you even invite them. How can you just stand there when they insult your daughter in front of your face? Even if I wanted to say something... Oh, so you didn't really want to say something? Oh, big surprise there. Chetna, Periwalta, abdi pesa kudadu. Well, if my elders say messed up stuff, na pinna abdi pesa no. Watch your mouth. Maybe I'll watch my mouth when they watch theirs. You know, if these people are really going to judge girls on some ridiculous skin lightness gradient, like girls with a lightness of 9 out of 10, maybe we'll talk to the family. But if the girls have a lightness of 4 out of 10, then they're not even worth a second glance. Just throw that card away. Well, then maybe we shouldn't be talking to these stupid mothers or their stupid sons and... Chetana, go to your room. Enough. At least she comes home when she says she will.
three. Perfect. Hey, Sandy. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I've just been thinking about some stuff. Guess I decided to go to the beach after all. What do you mean? I just, last week, a bunch of the aunties told me that I shouldn't go to the beach because then I'd get too ugly. <laughs> Wait, what? Where's the connection there? Because I'd get tanned. Dude, I would kill for a tan right now. It's different for us. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's just, sometimes I, I just hate it because I hear them when I'm looking at myself in the mirror. And then I look at my hands and I think about how light and pretty they are. And then I hate myself. Wow, going to those puja things must really suck. Why do you even bother sticking around? It's not the puja that's the problem. It's having to socialize with the aunties afterwards. You shouldn't have to deal with that negativity though. Why would you care about what they want when they don't even care about what's best for you? Well, I mean, they're still my family. I care what, what they have to think. And they want me to be there. Yeah, but this probably happens all the time and you have no power over any of it. So I'm saying to take power and tell your parents you don't want to be a part of a culture that disregards your well-being. What? Sophia, you know that's stupid. I can't do that. But why? Am I wrong? Uh, yeah, you can't tell me to throw away my entire culture when you don't know anything about it. And it's not like it's only my culture. Situations like this happen in society. Any society. Everyone has to deal with other people's stupid opinions. But even if that were the truth, this is so specific to your culture. How are they specific to my culture? Because the aunties didn't want me to become too dark? Hello, we live in America. Shadism is everywhere. Racism isn't just an Indian thing. But am I wrong? Their comments were harmful. Melanie and I would never say anything like that to you. I'm only saying this because I care about you. Sounds exactly like something the aunties would say. Sandy. S Sandy, come on. Sandhya. My name is Sandhya. It's not that hard to say. Hey. Uh, can I sit down? Uh, so I know what she said, uh, what we said, was uh, really messed up. So I wanted to say sorry. I've just been really confused lately. Just been getting so many messages from everyone and I just don't even know what's right or wrong anymore. Well, you know I'm here for you, right? Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I didn't know that you didn't like being called Sandy. I mean, I mean if I had known that no, you No, know... it's fine. I mean, I didn't always dislike being called Sandy. It's just that I've been trying to figure some stuff out. So, if you could call me Sandhya for now, I would really appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Sandhya. <laughs> no, Sandhya. Sandhya. More like Sandhya. 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 Sandhya.